Let's take a look at the menus at the top of our screen. The first one here is Separation Studio. And the first thing under that it would be About Separation Studio. So if I click on that, we get our window that pops up. This window tells us the version that we're working on and what build it is. And that could be important information for you for um, when Freehand offers upgrades and that sort of thing. You also get email links and links to the website for further information. So I'm going to hit OK to that. And next thing underneath there would be preferences. And this is um, definitely something that I like to see. I like to use, rather. Uh, this thing has an undo limit of 10. I just leave that as the default. But what, what I want to show you is the channel toolbar here at the bottom. Right now it's set to ink view. That's what the, it defaults to. I'm going to change it to film view, and I'm going to hit OK. And what that does is it changes that the previews down here to film positive view. So if you're a screen printer for a long time and you're used to looking at black dots on clear film, this is what that would give you. So uh, just so you know how to find that, if that's if you'd like to work in that mode, it's right there available to you. So I'm going to go to Preferences. I'll change it back to Ink View and hit OK. And the other stuff is just Hide Separation Studio, Hide Others, and Quit Separation Studio. Your typical stuff in software uh, menus. The next thing is a file menu. So in here we can open a file just like we can open a file with this button. We can close windows, close documents. If we have multiple documents open, we can close them all at the same time. We can save the file that we're working on. We can save it as a separate copy. We've got Save Color Proof. Now, I want to explain this a little bit. Freehand has a technology, and they call it Proof Positive. What it does is it actually combines all the separation data, the actual separation data, into a color preview, So, which is actually much more accurate than in a Photoshop RGB preview, for instance. Because in that in a regular RGB file, you're printing just a color preview of the of the the image. But with photo with uh, freehands proof positive, you're actually sep printing a representation of the actual color separations. So we can save that color proof, and it's actually a bitmap file. We can save it to wherever we want. We can print right from this program. So we can go to File and Print Color Proof if we have a color printer hooked up to the computer. You can change the file size, the um, page size, and color printer information with this uh, color proof page setup. So let's take a look at the edit menu. This is undo eraser tool. Well, it will undo any whatever the last thing that was that you did. We can change the ground color. Um, you can change it here. I don't recommend it. I always work on a black background. If my file looks good on black, it will look good on anything. Now, Freehand does allow us to change our and manage our ink sets. So if I click on this, we get this dialog box. Now, all the colors that we see here on the left, these are the standard factory defaults from Freehand. So if I click on the green, for instance, we can actually come over here in the RGB values and see that there's 0 red, 150 green, and 0 blue. If you can get your uh, your, the ink manufacturer that you use, you get their numeric values either in RGB, LAB, or HSB. You can plug them right in here and name it whatever that color, if the color's name is Dallas Green, you can create your own and, and name it Dallas Green. So you can set whatever ink manufacturer you deal with, you can actually create colors that you can preview on screen uh, so you know with the inks that you use and I'll go ahead and make one for you so what you do is you want to come down here and hit this little plus sign at the bottom of the the window so we'll do that it says new ink so I'm gonna come over here and we'll just choose a nice grapey purple and the name of that ink is gonna be great dang graphics purple obviously it could be anything it could be Wilflex color uh, Lancer inks color Rutland color, whatever ink system you use, set the manufacturer, the series, if it's a certain series that you like to use. And Freehand even gives you a neat little note feature. You can put in all the details here um, of, you know, maybe when you got the inks, who gave you the, the numeric values, what the date was, when, you know, things like that. Anything you want to put in that little notes field. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And now if I come over here to my, my view right window, if I click on one of these little squares here, any of them, there it is. It shows you that the color is actually active and available to us to use. Pretty cool stuff. So what I'm going to do now, though, is I'm going to come back up to the Edit menu, come down to Manage Inks, 
I'm going to select the purple that we just created, and I'm going to hit this little minus sign. It gets rid of it from the list here, but now I have to hit save, and we just created the color and got rid of the color. So that's how you do those things. Under the edit menu, we also can manage textile ground colors. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and we get the very similar box that comes up. Notice it always defaults here to black. That's what I use all the time. But if you wanted to use another color, you could do the same thing. Click on the plus sign and choose a color that you want to work with. And give it a name. New textile would be, I don't know, maybe eggplant. And we go ahead and save it. And then when we come up to the ground color, there's the eggplant color that we just chose. So you can preview it on that color. The only problem is this particular file, I have not generated a black printer yet, so it looks a little washed out. Uh, but there's a color in the background for us anyway. And the last thing in this edit menu would be ink mapping. Now I'm not gonna I'm only gonna touch very quickly on this. Freehand will allow you to create or generate your own set of colors. It's not recommended. It's it, you can start screwing things up and 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 not working properly. What it's designed for is if you're an experienced screen printer and you have a set of colors that you use that you have proven and you know that they will always work, then you can change these default colors to your set of colors. And when it runs the separations, it will separate using your colors. I never use it. I've been using Spot Process since the day it came out and it always works for me. It separates and runs through with these factory colors. It will create all my secondary and tertiary colors that, that I need. So Freehand gives you this capability. I just don't know that I would use it because I never do. Be sure to watch the other videos in this how-to series.